Slide number five, I have to use my cheating method and count the distance from the line of reflection. <clears throat> because if I notice, the line of reflection that they gave me, it's not the x-axis, it's not the y-axis. It's actually this line right here, x equals one. So I have to reflect it across that line. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw all of my vertices and I'm gonna do the vertice and the reflection one at a time. All right, so the first one is J at two comma three. One, two, one, two, three. And that's J. Now, as I look at J, I need to figure out how far away J is from my line of reflection. Here's J. My line of reflection is the red line. It's one unit from the line of reflection. So I'm gonna start at the line of reflection and I'm gonna go away from it, one unit. There is the reflection J prime. I'm gonna repeat that same process to all the other vertices that I've been given. Working on K. There is K. I'm going to go ahead and label it. K is one, two from the line of reflection. So I'm going to go out from the line of reflection. One, two. There it is. I'm going to do L. Make a one. And its reflection Notice there's no recipe. For this one, there isn't going to be a recipe. This one, I have to count the distance. All right, now that I've got it in there, I'm gonna like draw the lines because this looks like a hot mess, it's just points everywhere. And I can't tell what kind of shape. So I'm gonna use the same color and I'm gonna use the fact that I've labeled some points as J and some points J prime. And I'm gonna connect all of the normal points together and all of the prime points together. And I'm gonna go in the order of the name, I'm gonna go J, to K to L to M and then back to J. J to K to L of M and then M back to J. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this image. K to L, K to L, L to M, J to M. There's my shapes. <laughs>